Hey everyone, welcome to another video presented by me, Soundwave765. Today's video is Zort and Highbrow from the Titans Return line. Sweet looking little helicopter dealio. But anyway, so let's just uh, open this guy up, take a closer look. Well, just like the other videos, let's just get a quick look at the inbox package in here. Nice, looks great, very presentable, nice clamshell. Bring around to the back side, we've got the helicopter here, the other transformation possibilities as far as robot, the headmaster, titanmaster, whatever you want to call it, and then the other options that are out or soon to be out. Uh, yeah, so anyway, these guys are looking good. So let's just open this guy up. All right, so just to let you know that I actually have this guy out of the package for a few days, let my son play with him, dropped him, threw him around the couch, around the house on the ground, outside on the pavement, and he took a beating, which is great. His joints are still nice and tight. They look great. I mean, there's barely any scuff marks on this guy from the abuse he was going through. So that's that's a good thing to know. But anyway, so here's uh, just what he looks like in his robot mode. Here we have the blades in the back. And those will kind of just bounce back and forth between the uh, chassis up here in the back. Whoa, excuse me. Uh, so anyway, as far as the bot goes, classic uh, fold the hand in. To the arm Titans Return style look there, <laughs> or Combiner Wars even. Uh, let's take these out though. And I'll show you some of the weapons too here in a minute. Uh, that's what he looks like without him. But yeah, they just kind of fold in there, and they're not too loose, which is nice. You can leave them a little loose if you want, or you can just snap them. It's up to you, but I like them just kind of loose like that. Arms right here, and then he does not have any kind of waist movement, just the legs. And these just do that. Face looks good though. Let me pop off the head here. Show you what he looks like. So up close, we can get the light on that. Let's see if we can adjust here. Nope, 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 nope. Yeah, that's about as good as I can get it on this camera. Yeah, so that, nothing too special, but it looks nice. And the face here has that dark gray, black look going on, plus the uh, those blue eyes or sunglasses or whatever you want to call them, visors. I like the mouth though, kind of that mm, scowling, not really scowling, just a not happy expression. But whatever, looks good. <laughs> so actually, I'm going to leave him off so I can show you just where he pops in here. And this is part of the transformation where this will just come around like that. Yeah, so speaking of transformation, I'm going to go ahead and do that for you guys. But before I actually finish, I want to show you this is part of the transformation here. It slides out. So and that's just like the uh, was it Scourge who did that as well. Uh, yeah. All right. So let's uh, take a moment here, and I'll be right back. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Yeah, anyway, so <laughs> bad little music uh, intro there. Uh, so the cockpit opens up really tight on the joints as well. I like that, though. It makes it just easy and nice. Like, I love this like ruby red color on, they've used for the glass. Looks awesome. I dig that. And then the profile side, not bad. A little bit of bend here in the blades just from the manufacturer and the packaging. I don't care for that, but uh, I can't really, you know, I guess that just happens. And then I come around the back. These do not spin, so if anyone that thinks they do, they're wrong. They don't. Here's a classic legs hidden in the back. Flip it around, but it's not too bad. Not too bad at all. And then here's the weapons mounted uh, underneath the arms, so now the wings of the unit. But the profile is pretty cool. I like that, especially with the weapons mounted here on the bottom. And while we got it mounted out here on the bottom, let me show you what these two here can do for the Headmaster slash Titan Master. Now there is two peg holes there, or slides right there, and then they're supposed to slide into each other like so had a little bit of difficulty just because they're so tight with the joints which again is cool with me uh, so it becomes like a double barreled weapon but it also becomes a like a little flying weaponized sled here for the headmaster and it's got the two peg holes for the feet you can see that the lighting booyah and there it be and if you want you can come through and just do your little play or set it here for playability and I can see some kids doing that or hooking up something else over here as well sweet little death ride <laughs> anyway yeah so that's that let me uh, wrap this thing up here and we'll go from there okay
overall. This is a great figure. I like the outlines, the colors they chose. I uh, just like the way it looks all together, especially with the red striping and stuff that's going through the, the areas with the ruby red there on the glass. So I highly recommend you go out there, pick them up. Sturdy, joints are sturdy, just fun. And for me, this is my first helicopter in my Transformers collection. So yeah, that's it for now, guys. Stay tuned for more. Don't forget to thumbs up, thumbs down, leave a comment, and check out these other video panels that will be popping up. Later.